Yeah, no, I would agree, and uh, you know, also the way we we play now, um, you know, this we can't be positive of, of still making the playoffs. Um, we, we at this stage we're our own uh, worst enemies because um, uh, I've said to the players now, I don't think any team outplayed us this year, but. Uh, every time we scored some great tries, we let them back in um, with, with uh, tries from our mistakes. Um, and th that is crucial. I thought the first half we lacked a little bit of intensity. But we were still in it 19-10. Uh, and just after half time, we considered a try from a knock-on uh, from the kickoff where there was no pressure. And all of a sudden it's 24-10. And um, we did great to come back um, with scoring some great tries. And, and just to you know to, to give it back to them uh, with mistakes from our side so we need to we need to learn to concentrate for 80 minutes on, on this level I think you know we we've got a uh, we can't always say we're close to it and then we were in it um, we want to win and we want to play good rugby we've got the right structures um, I think it's when we don't respect that that we put ourselves under pressure and um, we, we all look vulnerable and we all feel vulnerable if we don't stick to what we need to do. But it's something that we can fix. Um, I think it's also, it's, it's also difficult because um, we've got a lot of great players that, that can create something out of nothing. But we need to get that balance right between sticking to the structure at the right time, getting in the right areas of the field and then playing rugby. You know? Otherwise you put yourself under a lot of pressure. You know, like I say, we've got the right structures. We've got the, We've got the game plan in place. It, it is a structure. We get the opportunity to play rugby from the coaches, but it is in structure, and uh, we need to respect that a bit more, and, um, and 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 realize the difference between winning and losing on this level is a knock or losing a ball on attacking line out or um, you know getting uh, going off the game plan and, and let the Crusaders pin you in your own half. So I'm saying a lot today, but we're still very positive. Um, we haven't lost hope, but we take responsibility and, and, and uh, as players we will fix it because it's, it's something that we can fix. We started yeah, at the centre that evening when we played in that friendly and everyone spoke about it, the impact he had. You know, I, I knew it was a question of time. I mean, he's, uh, it was one guy who really broke tackles, got across the game line. You know, he was a handful for the Lions players you know, and uh, the more they started to worry about him, the more space we created for other players outside him. So, yeah, I mean, I'm really happy for Sub Subura. I think that he, he proved tonight that he, you know, he's taken the next step up. But you know, it's a long way to go still. He's one of the quickest players in my team. He's got a left boot. He nearly scored the try of the year when he ran from behind his poles and ended up going right the whole length of the field. You know, if Yanni had caught that ball, maybe the prop would have scored under the poles. You know, so I mean, I I say week in and week out. I think Luazi has been a sensation at fullback, and and I'm not surprised. You know, Corey Jane can do both. Ben Smith can do both. Yeah, Uplan can do both. I believe Vali Leroux can do both. I don't know why people are so amazed that Lawazi slotted into fullback. You know, he's got pace, he's got feel, he's got a left boot. He loves playing rugby. He loves broken play. You know, I think he's a he's definitely a guy who's going to get better and better the more opportunities he gets to play there. Yeah, I mean it is, but it's at home, and so you know again there's a there's a massive bonus when you play at home. I mean the Cheetahs, although they were quite competitive throughout the game, I think they play a different style of rugby. You know, and uh, yeah, and I mean, obviously, you're going to have to make sure that you get your width defence in place. But guys like Sabura Sotoli, who got a real pace, and Lawazi got a real pace. You know, I've, I've, I'm comfortable that if teams try and run around us, you know, we generally got enough pace in our backs to stop them.